searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. And no, I'm not going to make another mistake and have my intro running over the top of me. That was an editing error, I'm sorry for that. I'm not perfect, but you guys already knew that, didn't you? I'm gonna go ahead and cook some food for myself. Let me get this stuff put away because I don't need it on me. I was attacked again by hunters at night, so I'll let them do what they did. I went up and picked up the arrows that they were kind enough to leave behind. There was one hunter that seemed to have gotten stuck because I could have sworn they were done attacking and all of a sudden this guy is shooting me from the bushes. So I don't know if he was hiding in the bushes, waiting for me to come out and then attacked. Evil, evil hunters. Or if it was just, I stepped out at the wrong time and he decided, oh look, I'm kind of idiot to shoot at. Let's check the chickens, looking good. Up to six water. I'm just gonna let that build up as much water as I can. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't need to take it out for any reason. I'm just going to let it build. Ah, fresh meat. I'm not going to eat one, but I'm going to split one off. Drop the rest in the refrigerator. And I'm back on the hunt for more mechanical parts. I'm doing pretty good on them. Especially since, you know, yesterday. I'm up to like 26 right now. So that's actually pretty good. I just need some more. You know how it is. That and of course finding rogue hunters would be nice. I'm actually doing good on wood. Any wood I get today would just be extra wood. But you, can, you should never turn down extra wood. You never know when you're gonna have a long drought. Find yourself hunting and searching for wood. I mean, you don't wanna have to go to a tree and hit it, do you? Let's just be honest. Oh, bear, bear. I seem to have got my nose under control, so hopefully no more issues with me honking my nose on camera. I still cannot find the the point in that video where I did that. And I listened, the video I thought it was in, I used audacity to, to go through it backwards and forwards, trying to find uh, the honk, but I couldn't do it. It's okay, I've got a solution. That should not happen anymore. I uh hope. -oh. I told you guys I was having a really bad week. Well, basically a really bad two weeks. If that's the biggest errors that I make, yeah, I think we should call ourselves kind of lucky. Hi, oh, I almost ran right on top of that rabbit. That would have been nice too. I'm not going to stop for that. I'll stop for iron and I'll stop for copper right now. Speaking of iron, I'm still cooking up a good amount of iron in the uh, in the refinery, trying to get it down to the point where I can actually use it. Question is, what do I want to use it for? I'm kind of to the point where I need to put lights out because I'm getting more and more hunter attacks at night. I mean, it's dark enough that it's not even worth it for me to try to do anything with those stupid hunters. It would be nice to make some picks. I had already talked about doing that, but I have not actually done it yet. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I did it again, too. I don't put a bed down yet. Jeez. If my head wasn't attached, I'd lose it. All right. We are going to have a bed today. The end all be all of today is getting a bed done. I'll make a circuit of my normal search area. Ooh, I see a building crate. And then we'll run back, make a bed, and then I'll go back out and search again. How about that? That should work. Now, bear and wolf, both of you stay with... 
two bears and a wolf. Hey, put in a bag. Always nice. Of course, I was just talking about a lock. Oh, I thought that was a locked chest. I said, talking about a lock pick, and there's a locked chest. More wood. I can't complain. I'm getting a lot of wooden bags. Oh, I'll be sorry to see those loot, loot bags go away if they're always dropping wood. All right, we're gonna, oh, help. I think I'm gonna go ahead, head back and get the bed done. Cause if I don't do it, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna forget before I record next episode. And I still won't have a bed. And if I die again, I'll be resing in some place I don't know where I'm at for a few seconds. It was just lucky the last time I actually rezzed basically right outside my front door. Which, I've never had that happen before. That was pretty cool. I'm sure it was just a random chance, but like I said, never happened before and definitely different. Oh, building crate. Man, I'm finding crates all over the place today. Yes, I know they're containers. I don't care. I call them crates. Ooh. Hunter on animal action. Okay, there are multiple hunters. Ah, this hunter camp over here. Dead hunters. Free loot. Maybe. I'm gonna have to check and see. I mean, come on. There's free loot. No, it won't be free loot. There's two hunters there. So nobody died. They took care of whatever it was. I think he's seen me. if he's turned toward me. If he turns toward me, he's definitely seen me. Damn. That hill. I didn't want that hill. Yeah, he's seen me. And he's dead for it. One other hunter coming. Come on, I see you. You're trying to, you're trying to flank me, but I've got your number, buddy. He's just held to my advantage. I almost let that arrow go. It would have been a waste of time. Ah, missed his head. Got him in the shoulder, it looked like. Come on. Oh, no, no, not the bow, because that's a automatic hit almost. <laughs> Got me bleeding, but I'm okay with it. All right, shotgun ammo and some steak. Always good to get that. I'm gonna watch. Now, that would've been funny, it is possible. I could have walked in here and then heard and the door would have been put in behind me and I'd have to break the I'd have to break my way out. That would have been hilarious. Where are you? Come on, let's lose you. All right, now run back. That's a good wolf. Oh. I might not be able to get that building crate. Let's go ahead and eat. Can I get, ah, yes, now I can get it. If the wolf decides to uh, make an appearance, it dies. No ifs, ands, or buts. Shut up, wolf. All right, bedtime. Let's go make a bet. Before I forget, before I get my butt killed yet again, let's go make a bet. Because I, I was thinking, man, there's something I was supposed to do before I started this episode. I was supposed to have something done. And, you know, it, I couldn't think of what it was until I was halfway out on my normal... Oh... Alright, I'm 
gonna do this. Yeah, up yours. Some nice loot. Are you chasing? No, okay, I'm good. And I know I left the plant there, but I needed to get out of there quickly or I would be run down. So grab what I could get and get out of there. But come on, two scrap metal, medical plant and a fiber. Very, very nice. Wow, the loot is just flowing. Fiber, fiber everywhere. I mean, this playthrough, I'm not gonna be worried about medical plants for a while. I've, I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna have, what, I've got a row and a half in, a, in one of my storage chests of nothing but just medical plants. Which is very nice. I'll keep collecting. I mean, I also glue. I also grew all the medical herbs that I had, which gave me a full stack. It was 50 plus a little bit more. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was close. Uh, oh yeah, iron and copper. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I'll make a lockpick. I'll make a bed and a lockpick. I have the mass and I've got the power. I have the power. Hey, man. Oh, look at these. I cannot complain today. Every time I look around, I'm like, okay, it looks kind of dead. Nope, oh, nope, there's another box. There's another crate. There's another container. It's not always the best stuff in there, but... Oh, look at right outside the house. Hello. Thank you for coming to visit. Wolf, if you come after me, I'm just going to blast you with a shotgun. Just an FYI for you. Chicken on, or rabbit on the doorstep. Oh, hush. Though, since it's still alive, I'll stick it there. Why not? I'll leave all this stuff here. Put the meat in the footage. Meat in the... Oh, I heard hunters doing more damage. Fighting more animals. I think it's that and that. I don't make beds very often, so I have to look. Ah, feathers. rest of the stuff away. I had nothing else to, to do with all those resources. It was kind of burning a hole in my BCU. Might as well make a bed. Scrap metal to carry it. I think... Oh, where should I put the bed? Actually, the best place is probably right here out of the way and should be able to spawn there without a problem. I've got one spawn available. I'll just leave it there. I don't need another one right now. I hope not to die anyways, but you know how it is. Grab a lock pick. Drop off the extra ammo. And I'll grab some more food. You can see I took care of all my water issues for a while, hopefully. Alright, let's get going. Not, not bad. I got the bed. I got a lockpick. Question is if I'm going to find an actual locked box for that lockpick. That would be nice. Those guys are getting uppity. I mean, they're attacking with five hunters every time. And it was a double raid. It was both of those hunter bases attacked me at the same time. So there was nine. I think there was nine hunters out there. I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> With nine hunters, they have a really good chance of getting me down very quickly. 
I like that bridge though. I think that's one of the better things I've built here recently. Now I'm gonna go over and check this little cove area because there can be a, a locked box over here. Uh, am I gonna aggro hunters? I'm close, very close to aggroing the hunters. I don't see anything over here. We'll check the other side of this rock. Nope. I don't think there's a lockbox over here right now. We'll head up toward the waterfall and we'll swing around the mountain to the other side. And there's a good area for the lockbox on top of the ridge. On top of that ridge along there, there's a good place for a lockbox. At least I see them there quite often. Oh, building crate. Nope, I don't want that. Let's go for the building crate, though. The cougar. Eh, I don't need the cougar right now. Honestly, I've got a good amount of sinew. I'll just, I'll just leave with what I've got. Let's just be honest. Me and cougars don't mix very well. They have a good chance of killing me because I'm an idiot. No reason to give them the opportunity to kill me. You know, I should make them work for it. Basically, I just like open up my, rip off my my clothes and I'm like, go ahead and eat me, cougar. Basically what I did the other day. I was rather stupid. You know, I don't think I'm gonna find a lockbox out here. I just have that feeling that now I'm carrying a lockpick and I'm not gonna see one. But there are three good areas kinda in line with where I'm running. So there's a good chance. Oh, nope, nope. Don't want to waste ammo on you. I've got more than enough wood, or more than enough meat. I do not need your, your bits. You can keep your bits, thank you. Now it's on the far side of this ridge right here very near where I built in my hardcore world originally that I tend to find crates. And it's usually on the center valley on that side of this ridge. Stamina's going down. I'm gonna stop and uh, go ahead and eat. Get my stamina back up. I don't want to be chased and then have uh, run out of stamina. That would really suck. Oh, 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 there, right there. Told you I find them over here a lot. Was it worth it? Eh. I mean, three metal. I and mean, there's a lot of scrap metal there. I mean, let's just be honest, 15 scrap metal. So, that is nice. I like getting the scrap metal. Not so bad from the rest of it. I mean, I've had worse lo uh, lock crates, but... It was nominal. But I hadn't gotten one in so long. And that's the thing. If you're not getting them every day, or as all the ones that you see, your RNG, you're gonna have some bad ones. And maybe that's the luck that we have is we don't pick them up all the time and when we do our RNG is just giving us meh meh ones alright alright wolf I'm gonna go this way you know I'm surprised I haven't seen any rogue hunters I mean I'm seriously surprised I've covered a fair portion of the map they weren't around the big lake that I could see. No, I don't want to waste ammo on you. 
I gotta run all the way back over here so I don't break my leg. Plus, the sun's getting ready to start dwindling down. I'm gonna check the East Valley, Northeast Valley, and see if there's anything over here. And I'm probably gonna have to turn and he start heading home. Unless, of course, I wanna run there in the dark, which, of course, is never any fun. Oh, Rogue Hunter Camp. All right, guys. Thank you. I was hoping to find somebody. <laughs> A double shelf is actually pretty nice, actually. They can't come up behind me as easily. Yep, I knew there it would, the other two would come from a different direction. Ding! <laughs> oh, I got hit. Ow. Oh, instantly. Oh, it was you. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. He's gonna pop out the fire. Oh, and he still got me and I was moving. The say. Oh. oh, he shot me again. Good shooting. I mean, I'm surprised they got me that many times. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm getting wood. There we go. Logs and planks. Just one rogue hunter camp, and I got a good amount of logs and a good amount of planks. Friendly neighborhood wood gatherers. That's what rogue hunters are. Well, I shouldn't say friendly. Very unfriendly neighborhood wood gatherers okay okay level three bear you, you all right all right all right I'm gonna go the other way I'll go this way I was gonna go down and look near the lake I think I'll avoid that right now that level three bear just wasn't gonna have any of it we'll go ahead and head up toward the arch stone up here this is a if I didn't find a lock crate over there, this is the next area that I was going to come over to because I find a lot of uh, lock crates in this area. Run, rabbit, run! Usually in this... Oh, there we go. There's a lock crate. Of course, I don't have anything to open it, but... It's okay. I got a lock crate today. I didn't... Didn't want to make two picks. If I start building up a really good supply of refined metal or refined iron, then I'll probably go ahead and make some extra lock picks. One of these days, I'm going to have five lock picks and just run around the entire day and see how many, how many lock crates we can get in a single day. The most I've ever seen on the map in one episode was four. Of course, I've never had that many lockpicks on me at a time, but I've actually seen four on a map at any given time. Oh man, the loot is... It almost feels like there was an update. I didn't validate my file, but it almost felt like there was an update. The loot is so, so good. I'm not complaining either. I'm loving it. Now, I did hear back from one of my subscribers that Game Edge knows what the next update's going to be. And I, oh, oh, oh attacking my base, huh? And and as I told you guys, I don't get the infi inside info. I usually get info a few days early if I'm lucky. So I don't know what it is. The... The person that was talking in the chat was indicating that they, that Game Edge can't keep a secret to save his life, and basically everybody that was in the in his stream knows what the next update's going to be. I would rather nobody release that information. Okay, most of the people that watch my content don't want to be spoiled. Even so, that way, if I get the info. 
and Cole Games is like, hey, if you want to go ahead and get a video done or anything like that, go ahead. If he gives me permission to release the information before the update, I always put a spoiler alert out there. So if you guys don't want to know what it is, you don't need to. But, and I'm guessing we didn't see it this weekend. Maybe this next weekend, there might be an update in the experimental, but I don't know. Well, I'm thinking those guys went ahead and left. I'm not going to make it there in time. So, I think they're going to be gone. The sun's going to set. I'm going to be running back in the dark. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. So, my time's up. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my softcore playthrough. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. Rock save me. Laters.